So here's my defense of pets, of having pets, and uh, which I consider just taking a, an animal into your family. Um, and this reason uh, obviously relates to how and why you should treat your pets well, like family. So, um, first of all, you know, I'm a material creature, so... I'm made of just a bunch of salts and water. I got a lot of carbon in me. So the choice is not whether I would exist or the stuff that is me would exist. It's what form would it exist in. So, you know, I could be a pile of salt uh, or some salt dissolved in water or I could be, you know, I got a lot of carbon. I could be a, a lump of coal or a diamond. And so the choice is between being a lump of coal and being a living creature. And given those choices, being a lump of coal, yeah, there's no pain, but there's also no will, no chance to try uh, and do anything. So I prefer being able to try to do something and uh, being able to do it. So... At that point, you basically have your, yourself, two piles of, of salt, two lumps of coal, uh, that could be a human and, a, and, say, a dog. Now, the interesting thing about dogs is if you treat a dog well, or decent even, the dog will love you. It will give you love. It will accept your affection. It will give you affection in return. It will spend time with you. Uh, hang out with you, point things out to you. So the choice really is, do you want two lumps of coal, or do you want two living creatures that uh, have the ability to love each other? So it's between two lumps of coal, or two things experiencing love. And so I know that's still a matter of opinion, but I prefer two things that can love each other to uh, two piles of salt or two lumps of coal. 